Oh. Oh. This hurts. This is painful. My good lord. Ugh. Oh. Nintendo's paid online service launched last September to some uh, less than stellar criticism. There was plenty to be unhappy about, but what people were most unhappy about was that their previously free online subscription was now gonna cost them $20 a year. I held out hope that this subscription fee would be kicked right back into the ecosystem to improve some features. Now it's almost a year later, and there's been some minor improvements, sure, but it's looking like there's still a ways to go, especially with some new complications on the horizon. You all know the deal with the Satisfy Grip. It's my favorite grip because the right side is offset so your thumb falls exactly where it should. If you've got big meaty hands like me, and you play in portable mode a lot, it's a necessity. Right now, they're running a Prime Day sale, but this sale is extended all week long on their website with up to 40% off their products. So check it out at the links in the description below or at satisfied.com. That's S-A-T-I-S-F-Y-E dot com. My favorite thing about Nintendo Switch Online is the price. It's only $20 a year, which compared to its competitors' online offerings, it's way cheaper. And if you have an Amazon Prime account, you link that to your free Twitch account, you get Twitch Prime. Now you can get up to nine months of Nintendo Switch Online absolutely free. And now that I know that you have a Twitch Prime account, what's up? What's going on, guys? Pay, pay up. Give me that, give me that Twitch sub. This cheap price ends up being the excuse for a lot of these features falling short, which I think is a pretty reasonable excuse, but this excuse can only be taken so far. Nintendo Switch Online offers online play, a substantial library of classic NES titles, save cloud data backups, smartphone app, calm down Toad, it's not that exciting, and special offers. This is the same offerings that Nintendo Switch Online had at launch, granted, there were some updates to some features. The most glaring problem here is probably the online play. Look, it's laggy, but it's not laggy all of the time. I'd go out on a limb here and say that 90% of the time, it works just fine, for me anyway. But I live in a major metropolitan area. I'm always gonna be close to a server, and my internet speeds are phenomenal. I know that not everybody's gonna have that experience. If you live in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma, you might have some connectivity issues. And when Nintendo Switch Online fails, it fails hard. Nintendo games have the worst lag I've ever seen in a video game, period. Three. I'm done for. Two. Again, it's only about 10% of the time, but it's just, that 10% is real rough. It's agonizing. One. And games like Smash Brothers penalize you for disconnecting from the match, so you just have to suffer through it. Oh, that oh, lag, God. baby, here we go, four players. <laughs> now, there's a lot of debate behind the technical reason as to why this is. I'm not a network engineer, so I'm not gonna give my two cents about what I think might be able to fix this problem, and chances are, you aren't either. Fun fact, I almost was but I failed out of all of my required programming classes and I switched my major. So I'm probably the wrong guy to ask. All I know is this doesn't happen on other paid network services, and it doesn't even happen on bootleg fan games. What did Inferno Plus do differently for free that an entire corporation can't do with literally hundreds of millions of dollars just for Switch Online? Nintendo Switch Online has 10 million subscribers. If all of those subscribers were just around for the one month subscription, that's $40 million just for Nintendo Switch Online. The internet service is your main service. It desperately needs fixing. The versus mode in Mario Maker is so good when it works and so agonizing when it doesn't. But hey, how about something positive out of the Nintendo Switch Online service? Like for example, the NES games, which I think 
are a fantastic inclusion. It launched with 20 games and they've been adding two to three games every single month. All the popular ones are there. And this adds online multiplayer to those games. It's a great substitute for the virtual console in today's modern era of Netflix-like subscription services. There are people who would prefer to purchase these titles individually, but if we're going by virtual console pricing, that would cost you $230 for all of the games. Nintendo's done a great job of supporting this service too. They've also released a special version of certain games that modify the save file to make the game a little bit easier. NES games are notoriously difficult, except Kirby. The special version of that actually makes it harder. If you're a fan of Zelda and you've never played the original before, you should give the special version a shot. It starts you off with every item in the game and 255 rupees. But try the original version first, come on, don't be a bitch. There are save states, which is great because a lot of these NES games don't have save files, but they recently added a rewind feature, so you don't even have to do any quick saves, you can just rewind once you die, which feels so gross. But hey, you know what? It's an additional feature, so I can't complain. Just don't use it. <laughs> the only games that aren't there are- Mother! Arcade. That's it. Nintendo hates this game for some reason. But if you've never played any of these NES games before, you should definitely give it a shot if you now have Nintendo Switch Online. It's rumored that we're gonna get SNES games one of these days. This comes from information that data miners found in the Switch Online app. I'd be willing to bet that in September, once the service has been out a whole year, we'll get some new information on that. Or maybe it's all a ruse. I would keep your expectations low about this being an included service because that's a whole lot of legendary games to be just given out for free. So maybe expect a premium price, but if that does come out and it is free, then you people got nothing to bitch about. The cloud backups in Switch Online are a great feature. Every other console online service has them. It's a great way to be able to transfer your data between consoles, except that it doesn't work like it does on every other console online service. Developers didn't really get a heads up about this cloud service, so games like Splatoon 2 weren't built with this in mind. The online is tied to your save file, so if you can manipulate your save file, you can cheese the ranked multiplayer. Although I'm not sure if a heads up would have fixed this because Pokemon Sword and Shield and Animal Crossing also will not have cloud saves. So a lot of Nintendo exclusives straight up don't support this feature, which is a big problem when you have a new system coming out. Cloud saves would be mighty useful. The Switch actually seems to be able to detect whether or not your save file is up to date with the cloud save backup, which is incredibly useful if you have multiple consoles. I didn't know that it worked like that until I tried to capture footage for this. Truth be told, I don't know how this is gonna work with multiple consoles. I'm gonna have to try that out myself and report back. Something tells me it's not as seamless as it sounds. It would be amazing if I could just leave my Switch Lite in my bag. That way, when I'm playing my games on my Switch proper or my desktop Switch, I'll call it, and I hit save, that save can immediately update the save on my Switch Lite. That way I can pick up where I left off. I already talked about this in my Switch Lite video, but that idea sparked the idea for this video. So go watch that if you want more about the Switch Lite and all the problems that we're gonna have with that. Hopefully that gets fixed by the time the Switch Lite comes out, but who knows knowing Nintendo. The smartphone app is an abomination. Having to plug a separate headset into a separate device is blasphemy. Especially when the Switch itself has a headphone jack that supports a microphone. Luckily, most games don't even use the app. Only first party Nintendo titles are using this app. Other companies use the built-in microphone support on the damn Switch. If only Nintendo would drop their pride and just integrate the app into the Switch itself. Other systems like the PS4 and Xbox One have some sort of party system built in. On the Switch, it's not so easy to just jump into a game with your friend. You can't just scroll through your friends list, see that they're playing a game and jump into their lobby or even submit a request to join. That's something that has to be done on the game level. Developers have to build that functionality themselves. Nintendo isn't making it easy for them. Lastly, Switch Online provides special offers, which are actually pretty great. The latest special offer are these game vouchers. It costs $100 for two game vouchers, and you can use these vouchers on two full-priced $60 Nintendo games. 
So you save $20 on games like Mario Maker, Pokemon, Smash Brothers, all the first party stuff that never goes down in price. You can only get these NES controllers if you're a Nintendo Switch Online subscriber too. They slide onto the Joy-Con slot to charge. I guess that won't work with the Switch Lite either. And Tetris 99 is a Switch Online exclusive game. It's free for all Switch Online subscribers and it's a phenomenal multiplayer experience. It might be worth the subscription price alone to some people who like puzzle games. I mean, even if you don't like puzzle games, it's the king of all puzzle games. Xbox and PlayStation have something similar where they give away free games every month to gold members and PlayStation Plus subscribers, which is a great thing that you should check out every single month because you're if you have these services, you're missing out on these great free games. And a lot of the times they're really great games. And I also know that PlayStation gives a discount on their digital game library to PlayStation Plus members. So that's kind of similar, but Nintendo Switch Online has offerings that are only available to Nintendo Switch Online subscribers. You can only get those NES controllers if you're a subscriber. You can only get Tetris 99 if you're a subscriber. You can only get these Splatoon skins if you're a subscriber. That's not, who cares about that? The only extra feature that I would wanna see is a Mario Maker bookmarking app or website, just like you already have for Mario Maker 1. That site's still around too. Just add the Mario Maker 2 functionality. Oh, this doesn't even have to be a Nintendo Switch Online service. This could be a free service too, although Mario Maker does require a Nintendo Switch Online subscription. So take that extra hundreds of millions of dollars that you're getting from just Switch Online and dump it back into the ecosystem and maybe just add the Mario Maker 2 functionality into the bookmarking app, please. Thank you very much. It would be such an easy way for you guys to send me levels and for me to queue them up. If you see a nice looking level on some message board or on Twitter, you can save it in the bookmarking app and open it up on your Switch easily. No need to type in a nine digit code. So I don't really think that I'm dying for any new features, just some updates to the ones that we already have. It's a third of the price of the competition's online offering, so I can't really complain too much, but it's kind of a third of the value too. Hopefully some SNES games in September would make this service all worth it. You think that'll get people to stop disliking every single Switch Online video on YouTube? Nah, who are we kidding? The internet hates every single thing Nintendo does all the time. So what do you guys think? How has your experience been with the Nintendo Switch Online? Is there anything that you'd like to see done differently? Is there any features you'd like to see added? Is there anything you'd like to see some updates on? Of course you want that lag fixed. Leave it in the comments below. I'm me on Twitter. Any and all of this social media garbage. We got new videos and live streams all the time. Our schedule is usually in a pin tweet over on our Twitter. We also got Wolf Den live every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time here on YouTube. And we got gameplay streams here on YouTube and over on twitch.tv slash Wolf Den, where I've been streaming a lot more Mario Maker lately because it's out and I'm loving life. Although it's a little hot and I'm wearing a flannel and I'm drinking really hot coffee. So life's all right, I guess. And you can support us here on YouTube or over on Twitch with that Twitch Prime you just found out about and you link it to your Discord account and you get videos like this one early private chat time with us, and you get to play multiplayer games with your boys once a month. That's in the Wolf Den Discord and the supporter only Discord. Anyway, the most important thing that you could do to help us out is just subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend, a friend who also has Nintendo Switch Online and you just wanna sulk with each other. Thank you guys very much. I'll, I'll, I'll see you.